Perfect. Come in. Take a few breaths up. Hey guys. Up. Inhale. Hi. Good morning. And two. Oh. Hello. Waking up those bodies. And three. Take two more. I'm going to tilt my screen up a little. Two. And one. And then take it to the calves so your feet are going to be in closer. Lift up your heels with your inhale, exhale, both heels up and both heels down. We're waking up the calves, which is really good for um, balance and for circulation, vessel health. Up, good. Up, each toe has, has weight so that you're not letting the ankle go out. And up. Two and one. Now we're going to change the um, pattern, make it a little V, and then go up with your heels still up and down, but you're in a slight turnout. Two knees are soft. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Now I'm going to offer that we do one at a time. If that's too intense for you, you can use a foam roller or a wall. Then do two at a time, but lift up one heel at a time. It's really important to be able to make sure each leg is doing the thing it needs to be doing. So we're doing 10 on each. This helps with knee health. Two, six, seven, eight, nine. Now wrap the other foot and put your um, 10 repetitions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I see everybody's doing it, so we'll do one more set of 10. 10 heel raises, two, uh, 10 calf raises on each leg again, Polly. Mm -hmm. Yep, five, six, seven, eight, and if, two, if one is, is too hard, just do two again. Now heel on the other, 10 lifts. Knee soft. Up and down, calf raises. Now when you're done with that last set, uh, put the, whatever you're holding on to is just out of your way, and we'll do one set of lifting up the leg. It's called degage, where your foot disengages from the floor. But as you get warmer, you can go a little higher. Five, so this is balance and strengthening this glute and this quad, seven, and hip flexor. Eight, nine, 10. Now we're gonna do the other leg, go up, 10. Long, tall spine, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. And then we're going to take it to the rear. Your body will pitch forward. Take it back 10 times. Five, six, seven, you should feel both glutes. Eight, hips are square, nine. Now lower that foot and take the other leg back and take 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Really good, and now cross the midline. Take one leg across the body. We're gonna add the arms lifting. Three, four, standing Pilates bar work. Five, six, Seven, balancing. Eight, strengthening all the areas around the knees. But these are really high benefit low rows for the knees. So try the other side, 10. Cross that other leg, 10, and you're tall. Nine, higher as you get more warmed up. Five point, six, seven, eight, good. Nine, to the side, out. All planes, we're working in all planes. We're strengthening the hips, strengthening the core. 
higher if you feel good as you feel warmed up. Seven, eight, nine. Other side, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, this is five circles around each way. So just five, right leg forward and around, four, three, two. Now go the other way, five, four, three, two. Now lower that foot, go the other leg, five, four, three, Two, go the other way, five, four, three, two, and one. Really good job. Now let's head down to the floor. I'm going to tilt the screen a little bit if you, and you grab your foam roller as well. But if you need a sip, this is a great chance to get it. And we'll, do, we'll start with some bridging on that foam roller so that our hamstrings are waking up. And our glutes. Curl up and down. Curl up and down. Exhale. Exhale. And four. Five. The modification would be to have the feet on the floor versus the foam roller. Now stay up and take 10 little pulses with the glutes, make sure you're not so high that your back is getting aggravated. Now touch the knees and take 10 little pulses up high. Open the knees and take 10 little pulses up high. Now lower and hug your legs in for a moment. You can even move the ankles a bit. Yes flexible feet and ankles. Now send the legs longer and put your calves on that foam roller. Knees soft, lift up and down 10 times. Up and down, up and down, up and down, five and down, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Terrific. Now bring it back in. It's going to be the option of single leg work. So your right ankle is going to go on your left thigh. Lift up and down. 10. And when you look lower, lower to the floor and lift. Lower to the floor and lift. So you have a full range. 7. Touch. 8. 9. 10. Now let that foot come down and take your ankle to thigh and go up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, and then lower. Now the feet are gonna be in the air as if there's a table underneath your calves. Take your hands behind your head, rotate your left shoulder to your right knee and your right shoulder to your left knee. Lift up your shoulders so you've got this ab crunch. Now you're going to be pulling your toes back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now take a moment, lift up both legs and put your hands beside your pelvis so you have a frame around your hips. Glue the legs together and draw a circle. This is corkscrew. Glue the legs together and draw a circle the other way. Glue the legs together and draw a circle clockwise and counterclockwise. Your ribs are down and that'll let you know how low you can go because you're not going to go any lower than you can keep the ribs down. Four. Three. Two. 
and one. Now leave the right leg up and lower the left leg, but they're going to be long. Lift up your shoulder blades and switch your legs. Switch your legs. Feel your belly pull in. Reach, reach, reach. Now pull your toes back. Now hands behind your head. See if you can add a rotation for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, recover. Bring your legs in and rock a little bit right and left. Now leave your left leg very long on the floor and lift up your right leg towards the sky. Go around in a leg circle. That's it, Cheryl. Two, three. Ribs are down on this one. Two, four. Only do go in a range of motion that there's no clicking. We're going to do ten the other way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now leave that leg in the air and point and flex and point and flex. Five, four, three, good, three, two. Now take that leg down and lift up the other leg and go around in circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can work at your own pace. I'm just counting out a general metronome. You can go 10 the other way when you're ready. Ribs are down. Take that leg up and just point and flex and point and flex and point and flex. All right, both legs up. Stretch. Fingertips behind your head. Now lift up, touch your knees to your elbows and then stretch out your legs. Touch your knees to your elbows stretch out. Touch your knees to your elbows. Stretch out. Keep the shoulder blades off the mat if you can. Keep the head off the floor if you can. If you need to modify, leave your head down and just do the legs. Three, two, one. Take your hands between your knees and hold on to your feet or your ankles and stretch out your inner thighs. And then we're going to add on. You can take the right leg in and the left leg out, and then the left leg in and the right leg out. So get ready if you'd like to add on. Curl the shoulder blades off and belly pulls in. Stretch. Good. Stretch. Let me turn so you have a better view of my side. Stretch. Pull the toes back. Ten, nine, eight. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three and two and one. Now hands to your feet, pull the knees down. All right. Now we're going to take a moment to lie on the side, take your arm underneath your ear and lift up your legs so that your obliques are firing, your QL, your core is firing. Both legs go up and down if you can, but you can modify with only one leg lifting. Good. Exhale. That should feel like you're working in your obliques. If you feel your back, pull your toes more forward so that you are hinged at the hips. Now, if you can, stay up. Take the top leg up, but keep the bottom leg off the floor. Now, you can also take the bottom leg and go it up and down. Now you're going to lie on your belly and take your hands like a pillow so you have space for your nose. Lift up both legs and tap the feet together. Hamstrings and glutes 
Tap the feet together while the knees are off the floor. 10, 9, 8. Now you're going to do a flutter kick, right, left, right, left, like you're at the swimming pool and you want to kick some laps or you're in a lake, you want to kick some bubbles under the surface of the water. Five, good. Four, three, two. Now go to the other side. I have to change so I can see your face, but you can just flip if you want. Arm like a pillow. Go up and down with your legs. Bias the front side of your body so the toes do not go backwards. Stay up, top leg. And bottom leg. Roll onto the belly. And then again, lift up both legs and tap the feet together hamstrings and inner thighs and glutes. Tap the feet. Neck is soft. Now add a flutter with those legs up and down vertical. Hamstrings, glutes. And now for a moment, push back child pose. Push your hips back. If you would like to stretch out your feet, pull your toes under and stretch out those feet. Five, Four, three, two, bring your elbows down and energize your legs into a plank. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then a side plank, a static side plank. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and other side, side plank. Ten, nine, get your eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then a reverse plank or a reverse table. Feet bent, or excuse me, feet on the floor, knees bent, or legs long. Your choice. Go up ten, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, good. Three, two, inhale, lower down, and just for a moment, take your hands together and move them in circles. And then wrist roll the other way. Really good. Come back to a side plank. Let your elbow be on the floor and your other arm up. Take your arm up and around five times while you maintain this position with your plank. That should feel good. And the other way, if it doesn't, then decrease the range of motion so that you're working only in a good range. And then let's take it to the other side. Switch, elbow down, arm circle. the other way. Five. Should feel good. And then down. Good. Go to your side plank again. Now this is going to be a stretch plus the work. So lift up your arm and if you can go behind your body. You feel that shoulder chest stretch? Nice. How far can you go without any pain? Inhale. Now exhale, rotate. Now when you come up, go to that place where you found way behind you. Stretch and exhale. So we're trying to sneak that stretch in here. So open up, stretch, stretch, stretch. Open up, stretch, stretch, stretch. This is for posture right there. Like someone has your hand and they're pulling it back. Open. Open. Open, 
One more, I know you're doing great. Open, open, open. Lower, take it to the other side. Make sure there's enough room behind you. So your arm goes back further. Yes, yes, yes. Inhale. It's like someone has your arm and they're pulling it into a stretch. Like when I did Thai yoga in the area. Open. Open. Pull that like someone's pulling your arm behind you, but not your body. Just your arm, your shoulder is getting a stretch. Reach, reach, reach. It's like we're focusing on different parts of these movements to the stretch, but now you're still working the core. Stretch, you got it, and then lower. Nice job. Have a seat with your extended arms up and over, up and over. Good. Now, you just I noticed right away one side was tighter. What do you notice? There you go. Inhale. And exhale. Lift. It's like you're going over a fence. Now, the next time you're on a side, hold. You could be on your hand. You could be on your elbow. Ten. Nine. Yeah. Eight. Seven. You can flip your arm. And over. Okay. And one. Nice job. Second set of reverse plank or um, reverse table. If you need to do a bound angle instead, though, please do. I don't want anyone to put their body in a position that isn't good for them. So 10, 9, 8, good. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Have a seat. Reach your hand forward and pull down. Shoulder blade down the back. Reach your hand forward and pull down. One side may be tighter. Reach your palm forward and pull down. So you're doing both sides of the forearm. Reach your palm down and pull the fingers down. Ah, really good. Inhale, palms down low. And just keep going until you feel the stretch. Five. Yeah. Nice. All right. Now open up the arms and add a rotation right and left. Now are you going equally? Sometimes one side's tighter. One more each. Now find a side and stay. Hands down to help you. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Inhale, open. Find the side. Find the other side and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back, lift up your feet, and balance. This is the beginning. And I'm going to remove my socks and correct toes. And if you want to make it harder, grab your toe with your two fingers, your big toe, and stretch out. Ten. Five. All right, if you want to make it harder, come in narrow and hold. Ten. And then three times open and close. One, use your abs to balance. Two, and three. Nice. And then lower the feet down. Now make enough room, make sure there's enough room that you can move your hand freely and act like you're just touching the water with your fingers. Now the other side, you might be able to go down to your shoulder blades, but if your feet kick up, then don't go down quite so low. 
your knees are uh, slightly bent here so that you have articulation available to you in the lower spine. Four more. Three. Two. One. Now we're going to try to go down and we're going to hold each third at, for 10 seconds. So take about five seconds to go down five, four, two, a third. Now pause here and just hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now go down a little bit more for kind of five, four, three, two, Hold here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go down another little count, 5, 4, 3, right before your shoulder blades hit the mat, and hold. You can even pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, foot, 4, 3, 2. Release your arms overhead. Stretch that body. Inhale. Fingertips behind your head. Walk your feet up, walk your legs up. This is going to be double leg lower. The beginning is that you just move a little bit and you leave your head down. If you want to add on, lift your shoulder blades, lower your legs, and only go down as much as you can keep your ribs down. Four, three, two, and one. Hug your legs in for a moment and then let them back down either on the roller or on your uh, floor. And you're gonna take the legs up in a bridge, your hips up in a bridge, take your right leg and point and flex as you lower that leg. This is leg pulls while you keep the hips up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now lower your right foot and take your left leg up. And one, two, lower your foot, inhale, lower down, Take a stretched out V, or if that's not working, take a happy baby. 10, eight, good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale, and then exhale. Head down, bicycle, and you can take it with the head down and just work the abs, the legs further away from you, it's harder. You could bicycle up five times, four, three, now we're going to stay up on this next one, two, and stay up. I've got to move my foam roller, put your elbows or forearms down, can, can left, bend the knees, yep, can, can right, pull them in, can, can left, bend the knees, can, can slightly diagonal right. Really push your forearms so you don't feel collapsed in your chest. You're looking through the window of your legs so that your neck doesn't hurt, like you have a pomegranate underneath your chin. Four, pomegranates are not as red as they are in the store, by the way. They grow here, they're, they're not quite that same color. I think they wax them in the store. Four, three, two, one. Now, come up for a moment. Mm -hmm. Take your legs a little wider than your hips. They're gonna be about shoulder. Open up your arms and we're gonna rotate first and then saw off your toe. There's a stretch. Open up, rotate, and then saw off your toe. Up, rotate, saw off your toe. Rotate, saw off. This is the saw. Try to keep your legs stable. In other words, one leg doesn't shift past the other and rotate, and four, and three, 
two, and one. Now, go out with a little more wide here and the legs and hinge. You know how what we did just lying down? We're gonna do that here. Relax your neck. Good, everybody looks good. Hands can be anywhere. They can be on your feet or on the floor. When you're ready, we're going to slowly come back up and grab a sip. We're going to do a little bit more planking here. Oh, here it is. So you're going to let your uh, forearms come down on the mat. And if you would like to add on in plank, go forward and back like you're going through a tube. Your knees are off the ground. You're in a plank. Good. Go forward and back like you're going through a tube. Now we're going to take a side plank. Let your hand go to your head like you're making a triangle with your arm. And add rotation. Open up. Add rotation. So we did an arm more of the stretch earlier. Just focus on the core right here. Whoops, and your balance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now take it to the other side. Hand. Try to focus on the core. It's not as much about flexibility here like how we did earlier. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now come to your shins. If you would like more padding, you can double up your mat. Stretch out a leg. Take your fingertips near your temples. Dip down and back up. Dip down. Four. Looks good, guys. Seven, eight, nine. Uh, Pam, go the other way. Yeah, see if you feel that more. Um, so what we'll do is a second set. You go away from the extended leg and you rotate towards it. So rotate to face knee or front and then rotate towards your leg. Dip your elbow towards the floor and then come towards your leg. Inhale, now energize that leg that's long so it doesn't get saggy. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Feel that if you're not sure. Your hand can go here for feedback. Two. One more. Now we're gonna go to the other side and take the fingertips by your temples. Dip and come up. Dip and come up. Dip away from your long leg and come up. You got it, Pam. Eight, nine. 
Now that second set was to add rotation. So dip like before, but then rotate towards your leg. Dip like before and then rotate towards your leg. Looking good. Now let the shins down. Take a child's pose at first. We're going to come back. If you want to add a foot stretch, curl that to those toes under like before. Press with your hands. Five, four, three. Now if you'd like to add a down dog, spread out those hands. Push your hips up and feel the calves. We did calf work at the very beginning of class. So this should feel really good. As you press your heels down, you might be able to even lift your toes. Even just trying to do that is going to increase the intensity. Left foot pushes on your right heel. Put that left foot down, right foot pushes on your left heel. Both heels are going to press. Now we're going to lift the heels, articulate, meaning push your lower back up, push your middle back up, push your upper back up, pass through up dog, inhale, and then tuck your chin, push your upper back up, middle back and lower back until your heels are going towards the floor down dog. Lift your heels, articulate through your back. So it's not a hinge at the hips, it's like a snake or a wave. And up. And then recover. Let your shins come down. Take your hands and just make a little massage here. And make a little massage the other way. We're gonna stretch out our right leg. It, it doesn't even matter really, because we're gonna do both. Go over and stretch out this escape pose and stretch out the sides. If you would like, it's nice to add a rotation because of the different fibers you can get in the shoulder and the back. Now breathe into that rib cage. We want to keep the areas of the lungs, secondary muscles and primary muscles pliant so that breath is easier. Breath is energy. Inhale. Now that same, don't change your legs at all. You're just going to let that hand or knuckle come down and stretch your leg a little further behind you and lift your hip. Good. Like someone's pulling your arm. Inhale, so nice. And then you can reposition your body so that you're able to come up. Switch your legs, this is the universal symbol for switch. Take your foot out, inhale. It's like you're going to go over a barbed wire fence. All those angles are so good. Come up. Hand down. Put that foot back a little. Yeah. And push your hips up. Shereen, and you'll get more stretch in the hip flexor. Take that foot back. Yeah. It's almost like you pretend there's a fit ball behind you and you're draping your body over it. And 
down. Perfect job. And now uh, neutralize it with a little bit of a child's pose, but if your knees don't want to go back, just do a puppy dog pose. Just neutralize your spine. Come to a hands and knees. Lift up your right foot. Lift up your left arm. Now you may not touch, that's okay. You might touch and you might lift. I love it. And then lower that and take your other hand to your other foot. You may touch, you may not. Now on this next, you're going to be able to do push-ups. On the wall is a great option that is just fine. All fours is another option. Your back in your um, modified plank is another option. So start with 15. I want you feeling good in your shoulders, good in your wrist, yet still strengthening the triceps and the abs. That looks good to me. Lift your ribs a little, uh, Cheryl, your low back. Can you feel that it's dropping? Yeah, keep lifting your ribs up, yep. And lift the head, pull the head towards the sky. Those two things are related. Yeah, uh, Betty, I feel you see your abs, it looks good. That's it, Pam. Now, we're gonna take a breather, but we're gonna do another set. And when you get in your start position, every time you're there, that's a good chance to check your ribs are not dropping. Then you bend your elbows and you straighten. And you bend and straighten. I know, Shereen, it was not a long rest. And four, good. Lift your ribs a little, Miss Polly. Five towards the sky so your low back doesn't droop at all. Six and seven. And just be aware, Cheryl, yours is trying to drop a little too. So yeah, there you go. And take 10 and recover. Now walk your fingertips over to one side. Five, four, Three, two, open up your armpit. Five, four, three, two, inhale, walk over to another side. Open up your armpit. Now come back, go to your forearms, and you're going to energize your legs in a plank. The add-on is that you lift your hips like a dolphin, and then you drop your pelvis. You lift your hips like a dolphin, and then you drop your pelvis. You lift, drop, lift, drop. Four, three, two, now find plank and you're going to act like uh, you're dipping your right hip in some water below you and then the left, you just rotate your pelvis, um, pull your pubic bone under, Cheryl, so your lower ab, yes, better, four, three, two, now rest, I have a set of sphinx, if that doesn't serve you and you want to do more, you can do hands, so yeah, good, Michelle, I think so too. Now dynamic, lower your head, lift your thighs, lift your torso, you can do sphinx or you can push up to hands, you're welcome to stay sphinx, yeah. Lower, lift your legs, lift your torso, and keep going, I'm just going to talk for a minute. If you're ever uh, feeling sensitive in the low back and it doesn't want to do these, you can always do a cat-cow um, in the hands and knees, that sometimes is a little, uh, there's the, the floor isn't in the way of the pelvis. So that's a backup plan or a modification. Hold one more time in your sphinx or your swan. Five, four, three. All right, lower your spine, take your hands beside your pelvis or interlace the fingers at your low back and lift up everything. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, relax, switch your hands, go up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and maybe do bow pose, if not, just interlace your fingers and lift, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, take a child pose. If you would like to bend your elbows, that's a little bit more tricep and you pat yourself on the back. Five, four, three, two. Go back out to front plank and hold. When you're in front plank, it's really important to pull the pubic bone under and not just low back sag. If you want to add on, and this is a lot harder, so do not feel like you have to, lift your right toes, point them to the back of the room. Put them down, lift your left toes, point them to the back of the room. Lift your right toes, lift your left toes, lift your right toes, lift your left toes. Four, three, two, one. Now, rest for a moment. Go into forearm plank. We're gonna do a little transitioning here. When you're in forearm plank, everything looks good before you go to a side plank. Everything feels good, aligned, before you go back into a forearm plank. And then a side plank. I know it's tempting just to keep rolling quickly. Just double check everything's good. The low back can tend to sag, and we want our abs. Your head can tend to droop, and we want that neck healthy. We don't want forward head syndrome. Forearms down, arms open, forearm plank, arms open, forearm plank, arm open, forearm plank, arm open, another time through, forearm plank, arm open, forearm plank, arm open, Form plank, rest. Any way you need to. Good. All right. Grab a sip if you need it. We're going to add a possibility of five climb the trees, but if that doesn't serve you, just start with your hamstring stretches. But one leg could be up and you could be doing an inhale and come up. You are modified, it would be that you just do a hamstring stretch. I know some people love core, and if you want it, this is it. Um, I just want you to feel like you have an option. Two. You always have an option to listen to your body too, So, or email me later about things, so that you're good. One, two, or look at me while we're doing a class. I can usually read language body language too all right option put it together for three teasers three two one now I'm going to use a Dyna band or a Pilates ring either one but grab that hamstring in a stretch Michelle this will feel good Left leg long, right leg up, but not in the knee or sit bone. You don't feel that there. You feel it in your muscle. Two. Internally rotate that leg and cross the midline. to the side. Do you have a hamstring? Yeah, there you go. Take that other leg up.
and try and rotate that leg. Bye, Pam. Have a great day. Bye, hon. Yeah. Good, Michelle. So you're getting all those little hamstring areas. Bringing it back when you're ready. And let's do the right ankle to left thigh. So pay, take your right ankle to left thigh and you can reach that hand through the window and stretch it out. Good. Two, three, four, five, still six, seven, Take another inhale and switch it up. Reach your hands through. Take the left leg long and take the right leg long too. We're going to take it into a hamstring stretch across the body. So it's a needle uh, rotation with the hamstring stretch. Right arm out. Take a look, make sure. Yeah, if that's too much, then you can always bend that knee though. All right, hold here. Good, Polly. Ten. As you're ready, exhale and go to the other side. One leg long, knee down twist, catch that leg. Now take a moment just to rest. We're going to do a Shavasana. You can take a full body stretch. The other thing is you could just take a few moments to put your legs up on the wall. Just take five cycles of inhale and exhale here. 
Try to free your mind of any past or future and just feel the breath. When you relax your fingers and toes, slowly start making your way up towards a seated. You can lift up through your spine and just take a moment to place the hand on the heart and the hand on the other and experience the breath. When you trust in the wisdom of your body, and the mind is so useful, but we're just letting it be aside for a moment and let the breath be our focus. The cells have a chance to communicate with each other and they always want our higher wellness. The parasympathetic system can come in and help build and grow and strive as opposed to the sympathetic system. So just touching base with that part of you that wants to be healthy, well, balanced, clear, have ease and flow. So whenever you're ready, you can let that be your intention for the day, that you check in and have that ease and flow and that balance anytime you need it. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to see you. Bye, guys. Good to see everybody. Bye.